Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Hot End. This episode is sponsored by Ararum 3D Printer Filaments. Visit ararum.com.au and use the discount code in the description to get yourself a discount. Okay, in this episode we're going to talk about first layer adhesion. Now this layer is the most critical when you're 3D printing because it, if it doesn't go down correctly, the rest of the print's just going to fail. Um, a couple of quick tips to get this right is to use a skirt. A skirt is a like a border that it puts around the first layer of your print so it gets rid of any boogers on the hot end so they don't blob up to your print. The second tip is make sure you level your bed. If your bed is not perfectly level the first layer won't go down correctly. If it is too far away from the bed it's not going to adhere to your platform and it will just fall off. If it's too close it's going to jam your hot end. Okay, the third tip I'm going to give you to get your prints to stick better is to use some kind of adhesive between the print and the print bed. Um, glass is too shiny, it's just not going to stick by itself. Um, some of the most common methods are blue painter's tape and you can also use ABS slurry, hairspray or a glue stick. I'm going to show you these methods now. The first method I'm going to show you is the blue painter's tape method. Um, in Australia, it's just 3M blue painter's tape. I'm not sure what the brand is in America or other countries, but you get the gist. Basically, you just make sure your bed's nice and clean. I use a, um, a scraper just to get any crusties off the bed. Lay your tape down. Keep it nice and flat. And continue across the uh, the dimensions of your, your print. Uh, try not to overlap the tape, otherwise your measurement, uh, your height will be messed up and then the, um, the layers will have issues sticking and don't have huge gaps. But like that's pretty good. Okay, the next method we're going to try is to use the glue stick method. This is basically any just um, school glue that's in a tube like this, water-based. Get it from any news agency or any department store. We just clean the bed. I just use a paint scraper, get it, get rid of any crusties on the bed. And then simply use the glue stick and smear it over the area of the bed where you're about to print. This works uh, excellent for PLA. Um, it also works for ABS, but uh, there's a better, a better method for ABS that we'll go through next. Okay, for ABS parts, um, a lot of people use a ABS slurry, which is basically acetone mixed with some of your off, off cuts or misprints in ABS. Uh, all you need is a glass jar, a couple of scraps of ABS, and then let it dissolve. Another method which I use, which I find a bit easier, is to just splash a little bit of acetone on your bed, and then rub a misprint over the acetone. Pour a little bit on the bed, and then this is an ABS misprint. Now if we just rub that around in a circular motion on your bed, that's going to dissolve and then give you a nice um, a film over the top of your glass which will make the first layer stick very well. Okay, that's good enough. So when we turn on the heated bed, the excess will just um, dissolve, evaporate and that'll be an excellent first layer adhesion for ABS. A few other things which I haven't mentioned. Um, for PLA, you generally don't need a heated bed, but it does help. So for PLA, I usually set the bed temperature to be about 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. And for ABS, you need a significantly hotter bed, or otherwise it's not gonna stick. So generally uh, in the range of 100 to 115 for ABS is a good start. Okay, so this is the first print that I'm printing now. Um, you can see that the first layer is, it has a bit of pressure to it on the, on the tape, but um, not too much. If it's too high off the bed, it's going to be a thin bead, and that bead is just going to roll off. Uh, if it's too close, it's just going to be a big flat mush onto the bed, and that um, pressure is going to stop your hot end extruding. So you want uh, half and half. So uh, basically like a 
like a D shape on its side. So you want a bit of pressure, not too much, not too little. Uh, most people generally level their beds by using a piece of paper under the hot end. Um, all this does is you just move your hot end around to three or four points on the bed and then put under a piece of paper until you've got slight pressure on the nozzle and um, then you know you've got yourself a good level. Alright guys, well I hope you liked this episode. Um, please like and subscribe, there's more to come. Please excuse the lighting and the uh, audio. It's a new microphone and lighting setup, so I'm still trying to get used to it. Alright, thumbs up. Thanks guys.